Hey guys, good morning. Happy Monday, it's Daryl here. It is 7 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, if you look on my community page, I downloaded a video from, I believe it's the early 1940s, about the dangers of fascism. Um, we're talking, uh, I think from time to time, we need to be reminded of where we are as a country. Um, you know, and that old saying that those who don't learn from history are condemned to repeat it. And I want to talk about how one of the, the most troubling things I see these days is that the term anti-fascist or anti-fa has come to be a bad thing, you know, uh, for a lot of people, for Trump supporters, certainly. You know, I, I see these videos with these big burly guys saying, oh, anti-fa better not come to my town and all this other stuff. Uh, let's look at the word anti-fascism against fascism what is fascism if you watch this video it gives you a pretty good description Hitler was the prime example of a fascist state um, it's a basically a, a belief of one race's suprem supremacy over everybody else and everybody else is just should be banished there's different degrees um, I, I think it all leads to the final solution in their minds you know first it starts with uh, closing shops or labeling people that they don't find that aren't like them in, in, in color in, in ideology in religion and uh, it's a scary thing it, it, it's it's pretty much the opposite of what America is founded on all men are created equal look at that in the Constitution BAM Fascism is pretty much the exact opposite of that. It's saying, nope, our people like us are supreme and everybody else comes second or shouldn't come at all, basically. Um, how this has come to be a bad thing, I mean, I'm going to say right here and now, I'm I'm artist in recovery, I'm Daryl, and I, I am proud to say that I am anti-fascist, against fascism. Without a doubt, like I said, if you watch this video, you get a, it's a good reminder. I think that this is what I think the problem is. Um, I, I think a lot of people might have gotten overzealous because when you hear Antifa or anti-fascist, you think, think of this, the old black clothing, black, uh, black mask. Uh, you, you see, right to, in my mind, I see so, you know a guy cocking back with a bottle or something and a rock, and I think it's these people that did a disservice uh, to the whole the the good behind what fighting against fascism is. Um, I, I, I attribute it to maybe younger people getting a little lost in the moment. Um, more intent on fighting the system and uh, getting lost in, in that ze overzealousness. And I think it damaged the system. One thing I want to say, too, is, you know, as far as masks and covering your face, there's no way that anybody should ever have to cover their face or be ashamed in any way of being against fascism, of being against what Hitler stood for. You know, I, I'll never, I would never wear a mask to cover my face. I mean, to be anti-fascist, to be anti-fa, is the most American thing ever. Um, and if you watch this video, it's from the 1940s. And this guy standing there could be, a, is a stereotypical Trump supporter of this day. Um, word for word. I'll be, you know, and I'll be completely honest. The only thing that they might not be as strong on, Trump supporters might not be as strong on today, is in this video they talk about being against Catholics, which, by the way, I was raised Catholic. Um, they're very anti-Catholic in this video, and they're very, uh, they were very anti-Catholic back then. If you watch any All in the Family, Archie Bunker, he was very anti-Catholic, um, and that's kind of subsided in uh, this cult of Trump, uh, um, although it's not completely gone. 
but he talks, they talk about, in this 1940s film, they talk about how immigrants got to go and, and blacks are taking away jobs that white people should have. And it, it sounds, I talked about the Proud Boys in the previous video. And pretty much the Proud Boys are an exact duplicate uh, of this, 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 this fascist guy in this video standing up at the beginning. Could be uh, interchangeable with what we see with the Proud Boys. I mean, that's, that's scary. But the main point of this video, I think, is um, somewhere along the line, the, the, the cult of Trump convinced people that being anti-fa or anti-fascist or against, against fascism is evil, is terrible. It's anti-American. And this is one of the, the most dangerous things I, I've seen come out of this, these three or four years of Trump where a, a good segment of America has become convinced. I mean, if you ask a, a 60 or 70 year old, one of my relatives, one of my older relatives or something, you know, is Antifa good? Is being anti-fascist good? No, no, they're terrible. They're anti-American. They're rioters. And again, I don't contribute this completely to, to, to Trump. I mean, um, like I said, I think some of the younger members lost their way in the beginning, you know, with these masks and this, this rioting stuff. I think that hurt the overall movement and, and the image of, of being, being a proud American and being against fascism. You know, it's what this, this, this country's always stood for. Um, it's scary, you know, that a large segment of society somehow now believe, believes that, uh, being anti-fascist is, is a bad thing. It's, it's anti-American. Um, uh, just watch this video. Uh, we need to remember who we are, really. I mean, when, when Trump talked about America first, Americans first, and all that, and it's progressed into this. Um, and, and you know, and people think you're exaggerating. A lot of times when you hear, yeah, the comparisons between Trump and uh, 1940s Germany and all that, people think it's an exaggeration. But you watch this video from 1940s from America and what was going on and, and look at today. And it's no exaggeration. I mean, we're there. We are there. Um, so with my closing words, I am Artist in Recovery. I am Daryl. And I am proudly anti-fascist. You guys have a good Monday.